Oh, this feels so good to finally have our license plate and registration. What up, friends? This is Alex and Connor, and we want to share with you the process of registering, titling, and insuring our van. This process involves three states and sounds a bit complicated. But in the end, after figuring it out, it was pretty easy, like most things. Let's take a look at the agenda. First thing we're going to do is talk about our scenario, because it is unique. What we did to register, title, and insure our van. Third, we'll go over what you should do differently, like, for example, ensuring that you don't get classified as a commercial vehicle. And of course, we'll go over the total cost. Let's get into it. We bought our van in Arizona because we got a really good deal at a dealership there. And then we registered the van in Oregon because I'm from Oregon. And then now we're in California because we're building the van in California because that's where we have the space and the tools to do the conversion. This was a challenge because we had to figure out how to register title and insure the van so that we could be everywhere we needed to be while building this so that we were street legal and we didn't have any issues in this process. Well, not only were we able to get it done, but we were able to do everything from California while we were building the van. And here's how we did it. All right, we bought the van in Arizona and go ahead and check out this video if you wanna see what our ordering process was and how much we paid for the van. Because I'm from Oregon, we didn't pay tax, sales tax in Arizona when buying the van. So they didn't collect any sales tax from us, any state sales tax. That is a correction. They did collect a county, local county tax, which is about 1%, and they collected a 0.5% tax for doing business out of state. They said that Oregon required that we pay that, so we did. After we bought it in Arizona, we drove it to California where we're gonna build out the van. Since we bought it in Arizona, Arizona issued the title. We had to request that Arizona send the title to Oregon so we could register it there. We had to give the lien holder, the bank, Wells Fargo, permission to release the title so that we were able to send it to Oregon. This whole process of requesting that, to, that the title be released and sent to a different state's DMV was supposed to take six to eight weeks, which made me, made me really nervous because we only had 90 days to register and title the vehicle after initial purchase. So to expedite the process, we filled out all of our Oregon DMV forms with a check made out to the Oregon DMV with the amount that they estimated the registration and titling process would be. We put the forms and a check in an envelope addressed to the DMV and put that inside a bigger envelope, sent that to the Arizona DMV, and we asked them to release the title. And when they did, if they wouldn't mind shoving it in the self or the DMV addressed envelope, so everything could go to the DMV at the same time. This would have made it faster because by the time they released it, we would have gotten it and then we would have had to send everything to Oregon and it would have delayed us another week or two potentially. So again, Wells Fargo holding our title because they were the bank that we financed through, we requested that they request the title from Arizona and that they put the title from Arizona in our Oregon addressed envelope with our fees already included to Oregon for us. We talked to Oregon and they said once they receive the forms and the fees and the title from Arizona that it would take about six to eight weeks for everything to process and for us to get our license plate and tags. Except there was a hiccup. One of the forms required by the DMV is a VIN inspection form. Typically a dealership fills out the VIN inspection form, but since we didn't register the van in Arizona, they didn't fill out the VIN inspection form. Now remember, we're in California at this time. So at this point, we thought we had to drive up to Oregon to go to an Oregon DMV and have the VIN inspected by an Oregon DMV agent. And with gas prices the way they are, we thought this was gonna be probably like $1,000 for us to drive up there and back. But we learned that any DMV in the country can do a VIN inspection. They fill out a form, they stamp it for you, and send you on your merry way. And you don't even need to make an appointment for this. You just drive behind the DMV and wait where it says VIN inspection, and eventually, about a half hour later, an agent walks out with a clipboard and fills out the information, inspects your VIN, and you're off. So problem solved. However, of course, we ran into another issue. After 
the Oregon DMV issues the license plate and tags, they were gonna send it to my house in Oregon. But again, we're in California where we're building out the van temporarily. So we didn't wanna to have to drive back up there to pick up the license plate and tags. Plus they would have delivered them to the house after 90 days, which means I would have driven up there or had to drive up there illegally there and back, which we didn't want to do. But we found a solution to this problem as well. An Oregon DMV agent told us that on the registration form, there's this place where you can put a one-time mailing address, any place you want the license plate and tags to be sent to. So I can't believe this is like a miracle. We put the address of the place that we were building out the van, and again, problem solved. Boom, and four weeks later, we received our license plate and tags. So here's what we wish we knew before we did this entire process. We of course wish we knew everything that we just mentioned, but it was really important that we do this, if we were to do it again, faster and right away, because that 90 day time period is crucial. You do not want to be driving around illegally, of course, and you don't want to incur any extra fees from registering or titling your vehicle late. Okay, second thing we'd probably do different. Remember when the DMV agent did our VIN inspection? Well, he said to us that he would have registered the vehicle as a personal vehicle if we would have had, had it built out more. So instead, he checked the box on the registration form as a commercial vehicle. He's like, well, you got windows in there, you got a floor and some insulation, but if you had a sink and maybe a toilet, I would have seen this as more of a recreational vehicle and then registered or inspect it as such, which stinks because you pay more in registration. Also, I had to call our insurance company and tell them, I'm not driving a personal vehicle anymore. I'm driving a commercial vehicle. And they raised our fucking rates. It's time for the total cost breakdown. To get registration for a new Ford Transit in Oregon costs $101. It cost $126 to get a new Oregon title. It was $24.50 for two new sexy Oregon license plates. And they quoted us $7 for a VIN inspection, which we didn't pay in California, so minus $7 there. So the total was $251.50. However, I cut the check for $258.50 because I thought there was gonna be a $7 VIN inspection fee and they didn't refund me and they took it, but no problem, it's just seven bucks. So we paid $258.50 total. You'll probably pay $251.50 total. And this is cheap by my standards. It's unbelievable, so I am so pumped. This is such a good deal. I love you, Oregon, you're awesome. All right, please click the like, but like button if you found this video at all helpful, and please subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more videos on how we build out the van in the future and when we re-register this as an RV eventually. We'll give you all information on that. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you all in the next video.